Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to tell you all of the films that I picked up during the month of March. Um, we did have a lot of great new releases, um, some imports from different countries, some special editions, some still books, so all kinds of things. I am going to do this in um, release week order. So first up, we have Women Talking. Um, I haven't actually taken the time to watch this one yet. Um, I hear it's a long movie, so I just haven't been interested in it quite yet. Um, I did get Secret Admirer from Kino Lorber. Really enjoyed this film. Very happy to have that one added to the collection. Another Kino Lorber title, Mr., uh, Making Mr. Right. I got The House That Screamed from Arrow Video. Haven't had a chance to watch that one yet. I got Problem Child, which I really enjoy with this retro VHS slipcover. I got Fear. The Fan. Christmas Bloody Christmas with this really nice looking slipcover. I got the Rocky II release. Um, I got the slipcover edition and the steelbook edition from um, the UK. I also got the Mask of Zorro from the UK. I got Air Force One. And I got this little gem here called Kill Her Goats. I got the slipcover and the steelbook edition because I knew that it was going to be such a great movie. I didn't really want to miss out on it, um, but it wasn't too good. Okay, during the second week, I picked up The Walking Dead, the complete 11th season. Um, I got all of those in the collection. I watched every episode of The Walking Dead. Glad that it's over with. I got the core 4K release with this really nice slip. I also got the Prince of Egypt with this really nice looking slip. I got Alice Darling. Pretty good movie. I got the steelbook release from Zavi UK for the, um, the Woman King in 4K. I got the Grand Tour, which I haven't watched yet. I got Glorious, which I did watch. Pretty interesting movie. Kind of weird. I got the Jet Li, The Legend of Fong Sai Yuk 1 and 2. I probably butchered the name. I got the Phenomenon 4K release. I got A Man Called Otto, which I need to check out. I got The Whale. I saw this one in the theater, really enjoyed it. And I got the Rocky 3 UK editions with the slip and the still book. Okay, during the third week, I got the Babylon Steelbook. Um, pretty good movie. It wasn't terrible. A little bit too long. I also got the Slipcover Edition. I got Star Trek Strange New World Season 1. I got Megan, which I enjoyed. I got The Man Who Fell to Earth, the Studio Canal release from the UK. I got In the Line of Duty 3 and 4 from Eureka Entertainment. I got King Kong Lives from Umbrella. I got Seriously Red with a slipcover. Not, not a very good movie. It was okay. I got The Legend of um, Gatto Godot. I got this. Don't know how to pronounce it. I got the Rocky IV slipcover and steelbook release from the UK. I got Red Eye, Paramount Presents. I got Dragon Slayer slip and the steelbook, which I really enjoyed this 4K um, restoration. So those weeks were pretty um, light as far as releases, but this last week there was a ton of items released. I did get Dead Silence um, 4K release with the exclusive slipcover and the posters. I got the Martin release, which I need to check out from Second Sight. I do collect all the Second Sight um, hard boxes, and so I was very happy to add this one to the collection. Don't really know very much about the film, though. I got Frozen Planet um, 2 4K release. I got Batman um, Doom that came to Gotham. Don't know why I said that so slow. I'm trying to read it, I guess. I got these two steelbook releases with the Japanese um, artwork, Ready Player One and Rampage. Really love the artwork on these. I got the Screen Factory um, three film collection 
for TNT Jackson, the final come down and Savage. I got the Dawson's Creek um, complete series on Blu-ray, which I really love Dawson's Creek. Very happy to have that one in the collection. I got Raw Rawhead Rex 4K release with a slip. I got Treasure Island, the complete series with a slip. I got the Exorcist 3 4K with a slip. I got Code of the Assassins with the slip cover. I got this great film here, All Quiet on the Western Front. Beautiful looking media book. I'm very happy to have that one in the collection. I also got the Lighthouse 4K release, A24 um, Special Edition. I got Missing, which I've been hearing some bad things about, but I still got it. I got Chucky Season 2 with a slip. I got the Vinegar Syndrome release for Breathless um, with Richard Gere. Pretty good film. I got the G.I. Joe Retaliation 4K Steelbook. Plane, which I really enjoyed. I got the Cinderella 4K release from the Disney Movie Club. And then from um, Imprint Films over in Australia, I got Little Buddha. I got Return to Paradise, which I'm looking forward to seeing. I also got Jacob's Ladder, which, which I need to check out again. It's been a long time since I've seen it. I got I'll Sleep When I'm Dead. I got Georgia. And I got The House of the Spirits. So those are all of my pickups during the month of March. Like I said, there were a lot of releases. Very happy to have all of these in my collection. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the titles that I picked up. And also let me know some of the titles that you picked up because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.